Lauren, we want to read your poem that was written by Michael when he was 10 years old. It's called Love by Michael Good. <laughs> love is great, love is good. I hope there's love in your neighborhood. <laughs> love is fun, love is cool. Find some love, don't be a fool. <laughs> love is interesting, love is neat. So always remember, love can't be beat. is there for two human souls than to feel they are joined together, to strengthen each other in all labor, to minister to each other in all sorrow, and to share with each other in all gladness. It is the construction of their love and trust into a single growing energy of spiritual life. And it is a moral commitment that requires and deserves daily attention, since no earthly happiness exceeds that of a reciprocal satisfaction in the marriage state. Your marriage will be a lifelong dedication to the ideal of loving kindness, backed with the will to make it last. The beauty of marriage is you get to create these other beings that have some of the awesome traits that each of you have, <laughs> right? So you're smart, and you're beautiful, and you're determined, and you're a voracious reader. And, yeah, so what did you get from me? <laughs> but we're more alike than maybe you think. So. And, and people have a tendency to maybe judge us, right? When we're focused and, and things like that. People, when people come up to us and they go, oh God, you know, why are you so upset? You should smile more, which is weird because you smile all the time. But in this case, when we're working, people say, why are you so mad? What are you so upset about? I'm just focused, just focused. Michael is a very caring and empathetic person. He's loyal to a fault. He shows loyalty to his family and especially to his friends. No matter what life's challenges bring, Michael overcomes them and always puts his best self forward. He's a man who dreams big and is creative, but who is also down to earth and genuine. Several years ago, Michael phoned us from Montana to say that he had met the love of his life. He said her name was Lauren, she had a background in film, was beautiful and smart. We have met Lauren several times now and certainly agree with Michael. Lauren has the absolute biggest heart of anyone you will ever meet. Mike, as her older sister, all I have ever wanted is someone to look after her and protect her and protect her heart. And I could not be more happy that you two have found each other. My all-time favorite memory of them is probably when Lauren was sick. She had a headache or something like that. Um, and she didn't want to go work, but she had to work an eight-hour shift. So Mike being Mike, decided to bring her a rose and write her a letter for every hour that she had to be there. Um, and that's just is so sweet to me. I met Mike at Alyssa's wedding as well, and my first impressions of was, hey, how's it going? I was like, who the? Okay, hey, how is this guy, this suave, coming up to me? He's like, hey, uh, how's it going? No big deal. I'm Mike, so let me buy you a drink. Come on, man. I was like, okay. Hey, I don't know you. You have a California tan going on. I don't know. 
I don't know what, what kind of role you're playing with my sister, but I hope it's okay. Every time that I talk to Lauren on the phone or, you know, meet her in person, the one thing that she always says is how perfect Mike is. And he's, he's so great. He's the greatest person on the planet. Just know that, you know, like you said earlier, you never had a brother and now you have four. So... <laughs> Michael, will you take Lauren to be your wedded wife, to love, to respect, to continually bestow on her your heart's deepest devotion? I do. And Lauren, do you take Michael to be your wedded husband, to love, to respect, to continually bestow upon him your heart's deepest devotion? Devotion. I do. Better for work. <laughs> for better for work. In sickness and in health. In sick sickness and in health. In sadness and in joy. In sadness and in joy. To share together. To share together. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. For richer, for poorer. For richer and poorer. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In sadness and in joy. In sadness and in joy. To share together. To share together. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I went to help out Joe Schott, who was shooting his thesis film. And lo and behold, Lauren was producing his thesis film. And I remember I saw her and I knew right away. I knew it. I, I didn't even know her, but I knew it. I saw you and it was like, holy shit. Sorry. <laughs> uh, and I walked up to Joe Shot and I told him later that night, I'm like, I'm going to marry this girl. <laughs> And he's like, <laughs> no. and then I said, no, you don't understand. I love her. And what she said, <laughs> and I was like, okay, time will tell. And here we are tonight. Um, I couldn't be more grateful to have you in my life. You are truly the love of my life. You are truly everything. I couldn't have written it better if I tried. You encompass everything that I've been looking for. I love you so much. And I'm just so grateful and madly in love to be with you and spend a special day together. Inasmuch as Michael and Lauren have consented together in marriage before this company, they have pledged their faith and declared their unity by each giving and receiving a ring, and are now joined in mutual esteem and devotion. I, with the authority vested in me by the state of California, do pronounce them husband and wife. <laughs> Michael, this is the moment you've been waiting for. <clears throat> huh?